The zip type centrifuge is a gas centrifuge designed to enrich the rare fissile isotope. Uranium-235 The Soviet program. Gernot Zip. To the extent that it might be referred to in Soviet, Russian usage by any one person's name. It was known as a Kamenev centrifuge. Natural uranium consists of three isotopes. The majority is U-238. While approximately 0.72% is fissile U-235 and the remaining 0.0055% is U-234. If natural uranium is enriched to contain 3% U-235, it can be used as fuel for light water nuclear reactors. If it is enriched to contain 90% uranium-235, it can be used for nuclear weapons. Enriching uranium is difficult because the isotopes are practically identical in chemistry and very similar in weight. U-235 is only 1.26% lighter than U-238 F6 is less than 0.86%. Separation of uranium isotopes requires a centrifuge that can spin at 1500 revolutions per second. For comparison, automatic washing machines operate at only about 12 to 25 revolutions per second during the spin cycle, while turbines in automotive turbochargers can run up to around 2500 to 3333 revolutions per second. A zip-type centrifuge has a hollow, cylindrical rotor filled with gaseous uranium hexafluoride. A rotating magnetic field at the bottom of the rotor, as used in an electric motor, is able to spin it quickly enough that the U-238 is thrown towards the edge. The lighter U-235 collects near the center. The bottom of the gaseous mix is heated, producing convection currents that move the U-238 down. The U-235 moves up, where scoops collect it. Each centrifuge has one inlet and two output lines. At the high speed of rotation, the gas is compressed close to the wall of the rotor. The rotor can be several meters in length and a temperature gradient of 300 degrees Celsius between the top and bottom of the rotor produces a very strong convection current. In addition, the very strong Coriolis forces produced add to the separation efficiency. To reduce friction, the rotor spins in a vacuum. A magnetic bearing holds the top of the rotor steady. And the only physical contact is the conical jewel bearing on which the rotor sits. The three gas lines must be concentric with the fixed axis as the outer rim is spinning very quickly. And the seal is very important. After the scientists were released from Soviet captivity in 1956, Gernot Zip was surprised to find that engineers in the West were years behind in their centrifuge. Technology. He was able to reproduce his design at the University of Virginia in the United States. Publishing the results, even though the Soviets had confiscated his notes, Zip left the United States when he was effectively barred from continuing his research. The Americans classified the work as secret, requiring him either to become a U.S. citizen return to Europe, or abandon his research. He returned to Europe where, during the 1960s, he and his colleagues made the centrifuge more efficient by changing the material of the rotor from aluminium to maraking steel, an alloy with a longer fatigue life, which allowed higher speed. This improved centrifuge design is used by the commercial company Urenco to produce enriched 
Uranium fuel for nuclear power stations. The exact details of advanced zip type centrifuges are closely guarded secrets. But the efficiency of the centrifuges is improved by making them longer and increasing their speed of rotation. To do so, even stronger materials, such as carbon fiber reinforced composite materials, are used, and various techniques are used to avoid forces causing destructive vibrations, including the use of flexible bellows to allow controlled flexing of the rotor as well as careful speed control to ensure that the centrifuge does not operate for very long at speeds where resonance is a problem. The zip-type centrifuge is difficult to build successfully and requires carefully machined parts. However, compared to other enrichment methods, it is much cheaper and more energy efficient, and can be used in relative secrecy. This makes it ideal for covert nuclear weapons programs and possibly increases the risk of nuclear proliferation. Centrifuge cascades also have much less material held in the machine at any time. Unlike gaseous diffusion plants, Pakistan's atomic bomb program developed the P1 and P2 centrifuges. The first two centrifuges that Pakistan deployed in large numbers. The P1 centrifuge uses an aluminum rotor, and the P2 centrifuge uses a maraking steel rotor, which is stronger, spins faster, and enriches more uranium per machine than the P1. Russian and Soviet sources dispute the account of Soviet centrifuge development given by Gernot. Zip. They cite Max Steinbeck as the German scientist in charge of the German part of the Soviet centrifuge effort, which was started by German refugee Fritz Lang in the 1930s. The Soviets credit Steinbeck, Isaac Kikong and Evgeny Kamenev with originating different valuable aspects of the design. They state Zip was engaged in building peace.